Good morning, Twin Flame, Twin Souls, Faded Connection, and Soulmates. This is Brainy Twin Gemini for your reading, October 15, 2019. First and foremost, I want to thank you all so much for your love, your likes, your dislikes, your subscribes, your unsubscribes, your comments. Um, I really, you know, the, the sense of community on my channel just really warms my heart. And yeah, I can't thank you all so much. Um, for the donations, for the emails, for everything, okay? So, again, I love you all so, so much, and thank you so much for your support. And most of all, um, thank you for supporting each other, okay? I, I do this strictly um, because I have a gift, and I want to share that gift with you. And I believe that, the, you know, the signs and things that I see every day are messages that I need to deliver to you. I primarily channel the DM energy, and I think I channel the DM energy specifically to give messages to um, the DFs, okay? So I um, every morning, I channel all my energy into my journal, and I flip the cards strictly out of um, pictorial purposes. The cards always resonate with my journal, and um, my the energy is you know slightly different every day. It's kind of what I wake up with um, every single day, so... Um, I guess I must get some form of, you know, um, downloading at night when I'm sleeping. But I'm going to go over the um, numbers that I saw yesterday. Um, I saw 711 twice, 777, uh, 444, and I saw um, 1111. And the, I want to go over the 1111. So I was watching, um, you know, TV and the sports, stat came, sports stats came up for basketball. And I just seemed to glance at the screen and this one particular player had 11 points and 11 rebounds, okay? So as I said, I can't cheat this stuff. I don't look for it. It just jumps out at me and I feel like I have to deliver these messages to you. Um, I did see some squirrels. I saw some doves. And then um, there was like this kind of freaky thing that happened with this blue jay. So it was on top of the roof and I was outside looking at it because they're such beautiful birds. And then um, I was actually calling to the bird and then the bird flew off the the uh, roof and literally was flying right towards me. And I was a little scared, actually, to be quite honest. But it just flew right past me. So I thought that was amazing. And then um, there's two songs I want to bring to your attention. Disturbed, A Reason to Fight, and Guns N' Roses, Patience, okay? Um, I will say that um, there's a little bit of anxiety this morning. And I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um... I'm, I'm thinking it's coming from both the DF and the DM. The DM has anxiety because they're moving forward, okay? And and they have this, like, euphoric anxiety. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to get started here. I do uh, three spreads of four cards, four being my birth number. Yeah, this, is, this has been around for a bit. <laughs> um, again channel that in my journal. Three cards, please. One card, please. This is uncanny, the way these cards fall out. Oh, and while I'm waiting for this last card, I've said this many times, but if you have feedback for me specifically, send me an email. Please don't comment on my wall. Okay, so this has been um, the sexual energy card here. Um, this has been kind of in, you know, in the DM's headspace and heart space for a few days now. Um, they're having very strong sexual energy. And it's, like I said, it's been going on for probably a good week now. Um, if, if you were intimate in this journey, they are thinking about that intimacy. They're thinking about the love. They're thinking that this particular um, intimacy that you shared was the most raw, profound intimacy, okay? And they're just, they have this this sexual, um, you know, uh, desire and this sexual energy for their DF right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, I got this card yesterday. And um, again, uh, DFs, the DM knows that this is true love, that you are the love of their life. Sometimes these cards come out for a reason. They're a reminder to you of, you know, what the DM is, is, you know, the energy is. 
and you know sometimes you're not hearing the message and that's why these cards come out a second time it has nothing to do with you know oh it's the same reading it has to do with energy and i channel energy and i channel dm energy and the dm knows that this is true love it's in my journal this morning they absolutely know what this is okay you, they think that you're a blessing okay you're an absolute blessing and they know that this is true love okay here's the healing card okay and in the healing card there's a heart and what i find fascinating about this card today is um the, there's a there's a particular um group of dms in this collective that have a, had a broken heart and they're healing that heart and they had a guarded heart when when they when you came into physical union together their heart was very very guarded okay and they're healing that heart and a lot of them um, ran from this connection because of this okay because they had a guarded heart and they were healing and when they met you their heart was still healing and their heart was broken and when they found when they felt this love for you this profound love it confused them they didn't know if it was a rebound they didn't know if it was like an infatuation so because their heart was still healing and you know from a very 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 bad breakup okay and what I'm sensing here is there was some cheating um, and and the you know the DM um, the DM's uh, you know other half was cheating and it broke their heart and they met you when they were vulnerable and they felt very very vulnerable very very profound okay I general I generally don't get this in the DM's headspace but I channeled that this morning um, there is absolutely there like there's communication coming okay. There, there, there's a sense of anxiousness, but it's such a good anxiousness because they're finally ready, at least in this collective group, to move forward with communication, okay? As I've been saying, communication's coming in the fall and for many, a long-term commitment in the winter, okay? That communication is absolutely coming. This is validation and, you know, validation here. I've been ch um, channeling this energy for a few, for probably four or five days now and I feel this sense of closeness okay and I feel geographic closeness um, I can't explain my energy sometimes but I, I've been just feeling this closeness okay absolutely phenomenal so I'm gonna do um, what does the DM want to say to the DF right now and if I don't feel you're getting all the messages then I'll, I'll, I'll read out of my journal, but it always, like I can't cheat this stuff. Three cards, please, guardian angels, three cards. Okay, so here's your message. I've got the crossroads, the crossroad, and what I channeled this morning in my in my journal. And again, um, if it resonates, you know, take it. If it doesn't, throw it away. And please don't give me your interpretation of the cards. I interpret them the way I want to interpret them, and that's my energy. But what I had is have here, and what I channeled this morning was the DM was at a crossroad in this in this um, journey. Okay, and what I channeled this morning is they're effing done. They will, they're like they're absolutely done with everything in their life. Okay, and for this per particular collective group, it's family and it's friends, and they're done. They're absolutely done, and you know there there's no longer this crossroad in their life. But this was preventing them to move forward because of the situation with the family and the friends. Very delicate. And they were at a crossroads and they didn't know whether, you know, they should be loyal to their family or loyal to their D, their DF, but they've actually wrapped up that karma. And as you know, there was some explosion over the weekend um, that they just said, I'm done. I'm freaking done and I'm moving on. Okay. Free will. Okay. We live in a life where we have free will and we ex like, we express our free will and part of Part of this, the, this particular card is the DM has, has free will. The DF has free will. 
but the DM has used his free will and said, I'm freaking done. I'm done with this garbage in my life, okay? Many of the, in this journey, you, re, uh, you meet for a reason and you meet to wake each other up. And the DM ran, at, most of the DMs do run out of fear, I'm sorry, um, but they do. And they run, but they're actually running from them, their, their own self, to believe it or not. They're running from themselves because of the feelings they can't take the feelings so they run from themselves okay um and part of this journey is there is a separation and i i uh, channel for you know um twin flames that are in complete separation with zero communication and they run out of fear and but this free will card is is like they've looked at everything and they're just like i'm done you know i'm they're they're exhibiting their free will and they're done with whatever's you know whatever's blocking this connection they're moving forward okay divine masculine so your dm wants to tell you df they know what they are they absolutely know what this is they know that you're there he is your divine masculine and he wants to tell you that he knows okay so um, you know, please be patient. This is a journey. It's not an, it's not an easy journey. There's bumps along the way. And he just wants to remind you that he is your damn. There has been so much nostalgia going on in the last week with this particular DM, okay? And the, the nostalgia primarily has to do with the times you spent together, the laughter. Um, you know, this particular DM was uh, was very vulnerable, vulnerable around his DF, and he felt his true authentic self. And normally when you are together, both the DM and the DF, you are your authentic self, okay? There's no inhibitions. Um, you're like almost vulnerable to each other time stands still but he has been very nostalgic and the reason for the nostalgia is because he's remembering everything he's remembering all the good times and in this journey there isn't bad times okay if you're if this if this journey is about narcissism abuse um, then it's not your journey it's simple as simple as that this is a, a journey of a love for oneself and for each other and giving unconditional love to the world so if you're having abuse if you have abuse in your in this in this particular journey or you're being manipulated or anything like that then this isn't your journey I'm sorry okay but they are feeling very nostalgic and primarily because they're moving in okay they're they're thinking of all the all the good things and they're very very nostalgic and like I said there's a sense of anxiety but it's a, a, a it's excitement they, there's so much excitement with the DM because they've made that decision to move forward okay and they're so nostalgic and there's a communication card there so I can't like I said I can't cheat so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the overall outcome kind of where we are now um I only do the now we only live in the now and again if it resonates great if it doesn't throw it away just don't throw it away on my wall, please. Unreal. <laughs> Two cards, please. I didn't think um thank you um thank you so much for the donations it's so nice it's not necessary but very nice thank you so much okay so i have the mask card and again i find this so ironic because um in this particular collective group of dms um they were not truthful they weren't truthful about their lives um you know they, they, they were hiding a lot of stuff from their dfs but they were doing it strictly out of protection for the DF, okay? Some of them had some shady things going on in their life. It could have been an, um, an addiction. It, you know, it could have been like, pff, I'm, not, I'm just going to throw it out there, drug dealing. Um, you, there could be um, a lot of things that they were protecting you of. 
and primarily their feelings towards you, okay? Many of the DMs don't tell the DFs their true feelings because it's not macho and they feel vulnerable. But they're taking this mask off from, and they're coming to you and they're coming to tell you everything. And I'm actually going to read it on my journal today because just to show you I can't. I cannot cheat this. Okay. Telepathy, okay? So again, channeling DM energy. They can hear you, DFs and um, vice versa, you can hear each other. One thing I do want to say is that when the DM actually heard the DF for the first time telepathically, he actually thought he was going crazy and he was losing it. He thought he was going insane, um, but he's actually accepted what this is. He knows that he's a d divine masculine. He knows that this is true love, but he did think that he there was he was going crazy, and, and um, I think this is a very important message. If you're on this journey, okay, and you hear the, the messages like, I love you, or I love you, you know, I'm just going to say girl because I don't know people's names, but if you're hearing that, it's authentic, okay? You're not hearing voices in your head. Some people think they're hearing voices and they're going crazy, okay? That's what this journey is. You have like this ultimate, and I don't like want to use the word power, but you have this ultimate soul connection, okay? Challenges, okay? So, um, you know, there's some challenges um, with this particular DM, and, you know, he he's overcoming those challenges, okay? There's a mountaintop there, and, you know, he's standing on top of that mountaintop, and he's climbing up that mountain, and he's overcoming those challenges. But one question I do have, or not one question, one comment I do have for the DFs, are there challenges in your life right now? Are there things that you need to look at? Are there things that you need to change? Okay. Um, surrender. Okay. Um, two things here. The DM has absolutely surrendered this connection over to the divine or God or whatever you believe in. Okay. Absolutely surrendered it. Put it in... Uh, um, you know, the divine's hands and just is just trusting and believing what is meant to be will be absolutely um, fabulous. This is so, so important in this journey. You have to surrender the connection. If you don't surrender the connection, it will not move forward. The divine will not move it forward. It just, it won't happen. Okay. You have to surrender. And I know a lot of the DFs, have a, a hard time surrendering this connection but you just have to let it go and you have to surrender it to the divine and once you surrender that connection you become liberated within yourself because you surrendered it okay there's nothing wrong with surrendering it doesn't change the love it doesn't change anything you're just surrendering it to the divine okay you know we have egos and if and you know um you know desire is part of your ego as well Okay, and your ego has to die. So just surrender, please. Okay, I know it's hard. Just do your best. Okay, so I'm going to give you eight cards of what's kind of going in their, you know, headspace right now and while they're laying there or going about their day. Calling out to my guardian angels, please. Eight cards. Folks, that was two cards, okay? One card, please. Here. 
I hate that I love you, okay? And what I get from this, and um, I channel this, is when, when the DM embarked on this journey, um, they couldn't get you out of their head. And, you know, they were frustrated. And some of them were like, um, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. And you were kind of driving them nuts. And they hated it. Like, they, they you know, like, they couldn't get rid of, they couldn't get rid of you. Like, your their love, right? And, and they were, like, getting frustrated. And you might have even felt that. You might even feel that now. Okay? It depends on where you are in the journey. But they, you know, are they were so frustrated that they just could not... You know, put this to bed. I am awake and I am confused about all of this, okay? Absolutely channeled that this morning. These DMs are fully awakened to this connection, okay? Um, like, you know, having to do with the divine, you know, divine masculine card here, the true love. They're fully awakened, but they're confused, okay? They don't know what this is about. And when you go through an awakening, it is extremely confusing. And many of the DMs, when, when they went through this awakening, they actually thought they were dying. Like, they didn't know what it was, right? And they were confused. And they're awake and they're confused. They don't know if this is real or, you know, or what. Am I deserving of your love? Okay, so some of the DMs in this collective group, um, when, they, when they first met you, um, they thought you were perfect. You're a princess. You're a goddess. You're everything. And they didn't feel that they were deserving of your love. And that's primarily because they were in disarray in their life. And they couldn't give you the world. Most of the DMs want to give their DFs the world. They want to give them everything. That's what this journey is about. It's unconditional love. It's self-love. It's self-worth, okay? It's not a journey of abuse. And if you're in a journey of abuse and narcissism, it's not your journey. Okay, I see other people in you. They, you, you know, everywhere they go, the DF is a constant reminder to the DM. They're like, they'll, they'll, they'll take a glance and that's, oh, she looks like, or she looks like my DF. She looks like my DF. Like they're seeing all these people every single time, and you might be the same DF. You might see people, um, you know, all the time that remind you of your DM. Okay, that's not a coincidence. It's not. You never leave my thoughts, okay? So, again, this journey is such a sacred journey. It's such a blessing. And if you are truly on this journey, you never leave each other's thoughts, okay? It's not obsessing, okay? I want to be very clear on that. If you think of someone several times a day, it's not an obsession, okay? If It's it, it's a, only a, becomes an obsession if you don't stop. And it's all you think about. And all you do is focus on, you know, physical unity. But you never leave um, his thoughts, okay? Can't. Okay, as I said earlier, um, secretly I'm anxious to see you. Many of these DMs are moving in, okay? And they're anxious. And they're excited, okay? They made that decision. They cleared that shit. Um, they're, you know, everything. There's a, there's a journey and that destination is to you, okay? Absolutely phenomenal. I think you are sexy. And as I said, this DM thinks that their DF is an absolute goddess, okay? You are so sexy to them. It, 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 you know, it resonates with the sexual energy card, okay? They think you are an absolute goddess. That's you know, what I channeled this morning. Negative thoughts get us no, no, nowhere, okay? So, again, this is... This is for, you know, a few of you that need to hear this message. Again, if it doesn't resonate, throw it away. If it does, great. But uh, just remember, negative thoughts, okay? You're putting, you're manifesting that out into the universe. I did put the number 1212 on my community page, and the commu and, and th that number totally resonates with this card, okay? Um, you've got to be careful what you mirror, and back and forth, okay? And if you, and if you mirror that negative energy, it's going to come back. I know it's hard, okay? This is not an easy journey. It's not a cakewalk for sure. But it's all about the journey of oneself, okay? And if you don't do the work, you don't get to that destination, okay? And some people just don't like to hear it, but it's too bad. That's what the journey is about, okay? So I'm going to... Um, 
do the animal spirit cards. I'm going to do divine feminine first. Feminine always first. These cards are hard to work with, so if they flip face up, I'll take the card. If one card falls, I'll take the card, okay? So I'm going to call out to my guardian angels for animal spirit. I'm, well, two cards. <laughs> guardian angels. Oh, okay. Just love lions. I'm going to do uh, divine masculine. Two cards. <laughs> One card. Cards are pain. Sorry, folks. Okay. All right. What do we have here? Oh, chameleon spirit. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I have here. Lion spirit, and it says be generous of spirit, okay? And it's the number 37. So, if that has any significance to you, so let's see what it has to say. Lion spirit, a healthy ego means um, you ease God's order instead of edging God out. Lion spirit appears is a reminder that you have been given a gift to pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express your divine authentic self in a unique way you are both a king and a queen secure in your prosperity and wisdom and generous of spirit as you help others take pride in your ability to serve from the heart um can sorry um with with what you have right now allows you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in ways that educate, heal, and inspire, and delight. Be proud, yet humble. Practice gratitude, and you will find the accolades that come to you are no match for the joy of knowing what you have been able to do for others through expressing the, the bounty of generosity within you. Lion Spirit knows there is a great savanna before you, and many of you will, who will benefit from the healthy expression of your unique set of gifts if you choose to work in partnership with Spirit. All your relationships flourish as you express your worthy and generosity of spirit with humility and kindness. What a blessing you can be to all. Absolutely phenomenal, okay? So again, as I said, you know, be careful what you put out there. Have, you know, um, that positive attitude. And yeah, just be humble, okay? Again, I'm, I'm not minimizing the journey. It's not a Cinderella story, okay? It's difficult. It tests your strength and it tests your will. Okay, I have Chameleon Spirit here. Such a beautiful card. Act as if. Okay. I love the purple. The number is 14, if that has any significance to you. Okay, so I have Act as if. Chameleon Spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare prepare you for changes that will greatly benefit you. Outer conditions are changing and you are required to come into harmony with them so you can co-create your greatest dream. Feeling sensitive? Good, because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt to your environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, Chameleon Spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay, the lay of the land, adapting necessarily. This is fortunate time to, uh, to act as if and do as others do um, until, a new w until new ways feel familiar, sorry, familiar and completely natural. Life is offering you a great lesson now. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. So amazing. I love that. Yeah, so they're like they're I don't know, the best way is like they're adapting and they're they're moving on and they're you know, I just it's such a good card. Like they're both such great cards. I love them so much. Okay. Um 
So I'm going to give you a, a parting message here. You know, something to take with you today. As your day. And again, thank you all so much for your love and your support. Okay, I'm going to call out to my guardian angels for one part, please. Okay. Here's the front. Oh. Here it is here. Okay. It says, I am so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love, okay? As I said, this DM thinks his DF is an absolute blessing, okay? You came in and you woke him up and you made him change his life and he is forever grateful to you okay i just wanted to read that one thing now i can't remember what it was so let me look at this cards no hmm sorry because i did want to read it i don't know what i did with them okay let me just scan through and see if i can I can't remember. Sorry, folks. Um, yeah, it had to do with one of the uh, cards, but I can't. Oh, here, let me look. No, I can't. I think it was the other deck. But anyways, thank you again so much for your love. And, um, you know, I, you know, I wish you nothing but, you know, the best. And, you know, have a great day, folks.